Hi guys, today I thought I'd show you um, how I did the pendant in the thumbnail because I can't think of what to call it but it is a kind of crackly textured kind of look. Uh, I just wanted to steer away from the more sort of glossy look and the stone like look. I just wanted to try out some different textures and things so probably the next two or three videos will be more about texture and things like that. But all you're going to need for this is quite simply some white Primo clay or any clay that you've got, this is Primo, rolled onto my thickest setting. I've also just got another little piece of white clay rolled onto a number one, uh, no sorry, th uh, thickest setting again. Um, and I've also got this strip, just a very small strip of black clay rolled onto a number three, zero being the thickest setting on my Atlas 150. You'll quite simply need a cutter of your choice and I'm just going with this curvy heart one that I got from Ojoy Creations. Um, you'll need a flexible blade and I'm using some silver metallic rub and buff. You don't have to use this if you don't want to, you could just use some silver acrylic paint or something. Um, and I've made myself a stamp out of a stamp because I wanted it to go from emboss to deboss because it needs to be raised. So if you wanted to do that, do it that way, you just literally stamp into some clay, bake it, and then that bec this becomes your stamp. Or you could just use a mould or anything that, that's going to give you a little bit of texture on, on the flower, if that makes any sense. Um, I'm also going to be using some distressed crackle paint again, one of my favourite things to do. Um, you'll also need a heat gun. And some alcohol inks. I'm going with these colours. I've got, I've got black, this blue green and this violet but again the colour choice is yours. But I'll just quickly show you um, the set of those that I got and these are called Picasso alcohol inks um, from Amazon and you get 20 colours in the box and I'll tell you what they weren't that expensive either. I can't remember off the top of my head what they were but you get 20 gorgeous colours and there really is a nice variety. There's a, another purple and a reddish and a blue and, and so on. There's there's some really nice colours in there. I recommend these. I do really recommend these. So that's where I got those and I will list everything in my description on my Amazon, Amazon storefront. So you can just go there and get the stuff you need for this tutorial or any of my others that you choose to watch. Um, and you'll also need some paintbrushes. But quite simply I'm just going to take my white clay and cut out my heart. This is going to be my pendant. And this is what I love about these, making these kind of pendants, because you're not going to waste any clay, because you're just using white clay, and you're cutting out a pendant. So I'm just making sure it's gone all the way through. Oops, and just lift that away. And that's as simple as that. But I am just going to move this little guy out of the way for a second or two. I'm just going to tidy the edges a little bit. But I will be sanding the edges once it's baked, so I'm not too worried at this point. But okay, so there's my pendant ready to go. Next step though is to get the black clay. I'm just going to move this out of the way. And um, I'm going to crackle this with a heat gun. So I'll quickly show you what I do. I'm not going to leave it on the whole time that I'm doing this because it's too noisy. But I get my heat gun and that's if I can even stretch it over this far. Let me just move that here. Get my heat gun and just repeatedly go over it. Don't hold it too close. You don't want it to scorch or anything. But you just move the heat gun up and down the clay. And I'm probably not even going to need all of this clay either, but oh well. So just keep going over and over and over. And after about, I don't know, let's say 30 seconds or so, you can check it to see if it's 
crackled to your liking so I'm just going to go off camera and do the rest of that and then I'll be back. Okay so I run the heat gun over this for about 30 to 45 seconds and I'm just going to get my roller now and I want to see if it's going to crackle when I roll it that's how you know it's ready to go and there we go it's crackling so I don't think I need to do any more heat on there um, I'm definitely not going to need all this but you know don't throw it away because you can always use it in other fun crackly projects okay so there's that so just give that a quick roll to see if it's crackled and if it has you're good to go I'm just gonna move that out of the way oops we'll not worry about that bit all right so there's the crackle bit done now get your other little piece of white clay that I said to roll out and get your stamp or your mould, you can even use a mould, it, it's fine. And just give that a good push in. <clears throat> I want to make sure I get a really good impression without ripping the clay. I probably should have wetted this first, I think it's going to stick. I'm good. Goodish. Okay, so when you've got your little impression, what I'm doing, obviously if you're doing a mould, you don't need to do this. I'm just I'm just shaving off a little bit of it. And that's really all I want to be honest. Just a little tiny shaved flower. I mean I could I suppose I could do another one. Yeah, I'll do another one. So I'm just quickly rolling it out, doesn't matter what thickness it is because you're going to be shaving off the uh, the flower anyway. I better give this a clean because I've got it gunky. And now it's a little wet as well so it should work better this time. So I'm just going to push that in again. I think I am going to try and get a better cut than that one although I probably still will use that. Hopefully it will lift. That's better. Oh, that's better. Yes. So forget about that first bit, guys. <laughs> we'll ignore that bit. And I'm just going to try again. And I'm going to try and get as much of this flower as I can. But it's literally just the top layer of it. There we go. That's better. So I've got this lovely lacy looking flower. So guys, remember to wet your stamp before you do it because it works a whole lot better but you probably already knew that as did I but sometimes I just full steam ahead without thinking about it now I'm going to bring back my cutter shape my pendant shape and yeah actually I think it might be an idea to actually get some liquid liquid clay as well and I'm just going to run some of this down the centre of the heart. So it's just going to be a thin line. Down the centre like this. Come on out. There we go. I'm not being overly precise or neat. Let's just bring that up a little bit. And I'm going to bring over my crackly pieces. And I'm just going to break little pieces off like so and then just place it where that liquid clay is like so I want some smaller bits and some little bits sort of jutting out at random angles I want it to look quite rustic oh and yes guys my last video and I was having um, brain farts the whole time and I couldn't think of words Thank you for everyone for letting me know that um, the word I was in fact looking for was organic. So thanks for that because I, I just could not think of what it was. But quite a few people said, was it organic you were looking for? And I'm like, yes, <laughs> that's exactly the word I was thinking of. So again with this one, um, a little bit organic. And 
and there's a little bit of clay showing that liquid clay showing there so I'm just going to add another tiny little piece just here so you're just building up some texture I mean you can put as much of this on as you wanted but I just want a thinnish um, center bit going down the middle why do I keep losing things I just need to add a little bit more clay because I'm just going to do another little bit of it here I think oops so I'm just going to put that there like so and I think just give it a little bit of a press to make sure it's stuck down on that white clay and I'm not going to throw this away this can be used for another project but I'm just going to put that to one side like this not too bothered about those little bits I'm just going to give this a quick clean and I am gonna just wipe off these little black bits that have flaked off the crackle just to clean this up a little bit except not all of it wants to come off I'm just going to try again with some more rubbing alcohol and a wet wipe that's better doesn't have to be perfectly clean because it's going to get some colour on it so whoops a little bit came off there just put that back like I say just give it a little press while it's baking it will stick nicely all right so there's that it looks a bit odd at the moment I know but uh, you'll see now I'm going to take some more liquid clay <laughs> and I'm just going to add it where I want to put that little flower that I shaved off this is just for extra security to make sure it does stick because bear in mind that this black is somewhat already cured it's not completely cured but it's very dried out so I want some more liquid clay and it's refusing to come out again I don't know the last few bottles of this liquid clay well, a couple in particular, it almost seemed like the liquid clay was partially cured and I couldn't get it to come out of the nozzle. It was so thick. But anyway, there's the little lacy flower that I cut off and I'm just going to place it there. And you can see like some of the, the bits where there's like holes showing through, you can see that black still th coming through. I might have preferred a little bit more of the crackle showing but that's that's still good so I'm just going to pop that there and then the last thing I need to do before this goes in the oven is just to add some of this distress crackle paint again and I'm going to be quite liberal with it especially around the edges of the design so I'm just kind of dabbing it on You can even put a little bit on the flower itself if you want to. And then a little bit down here. Let's just push that down a little bit. Give that some nice crackle. But then the rest of it I'm not going to be as liberal. So some areas are going to be thicker crackle, bigger crackle and others finer crackle. But again that's all on you how you want to do it. But I'm just doing the thicker crackle on more on the inside just around the edges of the design itself and maybe just a little bit thicker here and there around the edge just play around with it see what you like and same thing on the other side I'm just kind of dabbing it on there fairly thick around the edge of the design but then not so thick everywhere else Oops. okay 
so that's got to do its thing you got to leave it to dry for probably I want to say 15 or 20 minutes so I'm going to go ahead and do that I will come back and show you what it looks like before I put it in the oven all right guys so once it's done its thing I'll be back righty ho guys it's done its thing the crackles all nice and dry on here now you probably can't tell that well on camera but it is and you can hopefully you can see it's thicker here and not as thick in other areas oh and I made a decision I decided to add just a little bit more crackle trailing up here um, I just wanted a little bit more showing so I added a little bit more all right guys so this is going to go in the oven I'm going to bake it and then um, I'm going to sand the edges nice and smooth and then I'll be back to do the rest. Catch you in a minute. This is baked. I've sanded the sides of the heart just so it's really nice and smooth. So the next step, I don't know if you can see that crackle that well, um, but the next step is to add the alcohol inks. And I've also got some rubbing alcohol because I want some areas to be darker than others. So. I'm going to go with this violet to start with. I was going to put it on a separate tile, but I can't find a clean one. So, oh, I don't think I've opened this one yet. Just let me pierce the nozzle. I thought I'd already opened that one, but I guess not. I must have used the other purple when I did um, another one of these. Anyway, I'm just going to drop a little bit on there. I don't need a lot. And then I'm just going to spray some rubbing alcohol over here. And I'm just going to take a little bit for now and just start painting over the heart. And this is where you see the crackle come through now. So I'm just going to take it all over on one side. I'm going to do a different colour on either side. And it's fine to take it over the edges if you want it to, but you don't have to. And then I'm going to take a little bit more of the pure alcohol ink. So I've got some darker areas. And can just kind of blend it in getting those little bits in there I'm just gonna squeeze my brush in there somehow just to fill in that little bit of purple and a uh, little bit of white under there okay I'm just gonna keep building up the color But then the other thing you can do, if you're not too happy with that, you want to tone it down, you can just spray it with some rubbing alcohol and dab it off. And I actually like doing that. And it gives it a more stained look, if that makes sense. It lifts some of the colour, but you still it still leaves where you put it darker and lighter. And I just like that. It gives it, I don't know, I can't explain it. It just looks a little different than if you were to just leave it. So there's that. I think I'm just going to add a touch more of the dark in places. And uh, I think I'm happy with that. So I'm just going to wipe this up. Oh. I know what I meant to do. I meant to add a little bit of black to this side, so I'll do that now. Just a just a touch. Just drop some rubbing alcohol into it. And make it purple because I didn't clean my brush. Mm -mm. Oh well, makes it a darker purple, I guess. Okay, that's better and I'm just going to add a little bit of that in areas just a touch just around the edge of the design and maybe a little bit up here so really just play around with it and see what you like 
If you don't like it, dab it off, dilute it, whatever. I better clean my brush off before I go on to the next colour. Wipe this away. And I'm going with this. This is a beautiful colour. This is blue-green. Like I say, I really like these um, alcohol inks. I really do recommend them. There's just so many nice different colours to choose from. I just like them. Right, let me just double check my brush is clean. And let's just do the same thing on the other side. So I'm just dabbing it on. I'm doing the lighter first. I'm just getting in those little bits there. Just dab, 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 dab. I'm just thinking, guys, on the last pendant I did, the flubber piece in the middle, I didn't actually do it in white clay, I did it in black. Oops! I've just realised. Not to worry, I'm actually kind of liking it. So I'm actually going to just add a little bit of colour on this side of the flower, just on this side. But like I say, I actually did it in black last time. I'm not sure why I just did it in white, but... Oh well, I'll show you the other one that I made so you can see the difference. But, I'm liking how it looks. And I'm liking that I can just add a little bit of colour to one side of the flower. So that kind of worked out pretty good actually. Happy little accident. I'm just going to add um, a little bit more of the dark green. Just to darken it in some areas. Again, just kind of around the edge of the design. And I'm going to try and get a little bit in there. Not that it matters too much. So that's that's really all there is to it, other than to um, go on to the next step. Um, I'm just going to give this a quick spray, just to dilute it a little bit. Give it a dab. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Yeah, I'm thinking what to do about these bits here, because like I say, I did it in black last time. Do you know what? I'm going to add some purple, but I'm just going to do darker purple. See? I, can, I screwed up a little bit, guys, but it's easily fixed. I'm not going to panic. I can work with it. It doesn't matter. So I am going to add some darker purple to the other side of the flower. like so like so and then the other thing you could actually do is you do one colour one side one colour another and then you could alternate the colours on the flower so I could have done this side purple and this side the green just play around there's all sorts of ideas that can stem from something like this in my opinion so, that being said, I'm kind of happy that I did white clay instead of black. You might prefer the black, we'll see. And then I'm just going to do a very faint touch of the purple kind of going into the green just there. I'm just going to add a little bit of darker there. So that's what it looks like thus far. I'm thinking it looks pretty cool. So, need to let that dry for a few minutes just while I clean off my tile. And that stained it a little bit, but not bothered. It'll come out eventually. 
what I'm going to do guys so I don't have to sit here for the next two or three minutes I'm just going to heat this up with the heat gun just to dry it off a little bit quicker it doesn't take much so yep that's nice and dry so the next thing then is just to take your rub and buff or if you don't want to use that just some acrylic paint is fine um, I'm just going to take a little bit on my brush which is <laughs> very stiff hang on <laughs> oh dear there we go I'm just going to take a tiny bit and I'm just going to Actually, I'm just going to rub this bit. I'm just going to put a little bit on, on the flower, just the flower, just to get a little bit of um, silver highlight, not too much, like so. So it does take away some of the underneath colour, but there's that. But then for the black bits, I want to highlight those with silver as well. But a little bit stronger so I'm just going to dab that on but I'm not going to cover every area of those black crackle bits I want some of the black to still show through and I think that's that was my thought process when I did the other one when I did the centerpiece in black clay was just to like um, highlight areas of the flower and um, leave the rest of it black showing through but this does have a little bit of a different look with using the white clay instead so that's really all there is to it guys other than to seal it and I'm just going to use a matte um, water-based glaze to do that um, but I'm just going to go off camera and resin the back of this because it doesn't look that great on the back I'm going to resin and glitter the back of it add a pinch bail and a cord um, and I'll be back to show you if you want to know how I resin and glitter my, the, the backs of my pieces I'll, I'll leave a link to a video that I've done for that so you can see alright so I'm just going to do the finishing touches guys and I'll be back okay it's all finished and I've added a pinch bail and a cord and I thought I'd go with a nice purpley one to go with the ink and that's the finished piece I'm not convinced I like the pinch bail that I've used I might have to change that but and I don't even know I don't even remember buying these to be honest I'll have to check my links to see if I already put them in there um, but anyway so that's the finished piece and that's the one that I did on camera with the white um, centre bit the flower was in white clay but this is another one that I did different shape obviously exactly the same technique but I used a flower mold and I did the mold in black clay and then I just covered it with the silver rub and buff so there is a little bit of a different look depending on how you do it I think they both look equally nice in my opinion and again same thing I added a pinch bail and these ones are definitely linked and as are the cords as well all right guys so there's today's piece I hope you enjoyed that I'd appreciate it if you'd like leave a comment and subscribe to my channel greatly appreciated thanks for watching guys have a great day and i'll catch you later bye